process of prenatal development occurs in three main stages. The first two weeks after conception are known as the germinal stage. The germinal stage begins at conception when the sperm and eggs all unite in one of the two fallopian tubes. The fertilized egg is called zygote. Next is the embryonic stage. At this point, the mass of cells is now known as an embryo. The beginning of the third week after conception marks the start of the embryonic period, a time when the mass of cells become distinct as a human. Once cell differentiation is mostly complete, the embryo enters the next stage and becomes known as fetus. Fetal stage is marked by amazing change and growth. Infant is defined as the first year of life after birth. They are born with certain abilities already developed, such as sense of smell, crawling, walking, and etc. They can also communicate their needs by crying when they are hungry, uncomfortable, bored, or lonely. They are dependent on the environment. Early childhood children tend to grow about 3 inches in height each year. They are developing different skills such as writing, playing, running, and etc. Young children learn to become more self-sufficient and to take care for themselves, develop school readiness skills, and spend many hours in play with peers. It is a time when children develop foundational skills for building a healthy social relationship. Middle and Late Childhood On this stage, children gain greater control over the movement of their bodies, mastering many gross and fine motor skills. They are independent and can do household chores. School becomes a big part of middle and late childhood. They are responsible on the given task and doing all their best positively. Changes in the brain during this age enable not only physical development but contributes to greater reasoning and flexibility of thought. They also tend to slim down and gain muscle strength and lung capacity, making it possible to engage in strenuous physical activity for long periods of time. Adolescence is the period of transition between childhood and adulthood. Children who are entering adolescence are going through many changes. It begins with puberty. Adolescence is a developmental period during which dependent children grow into independent adults. They begin to identify areas of interest as well as relative strengths and weaknesses. Next is Early Adulthood During this stage, children often start to grow more quickly. They also begin notice other body changes. They become more focused on the future and base decisions on their hopes and ideals. Friendships and romantic relationships become more stable. It is a time of establishing personal and economic independence, career development, selecting a mate, learning to live with someone in an intimate way, starting a family, and rearing children. It is also called problem age and one of emotional tension. Middle adulthood. Ang gawain ko sa ngayon ay magtanim at magbilig ng mga halaman, magluto, dinis ng bahay, at magtalaga ng ako. It is a time of spending personal and social involvement and responsibility, assisting the next generation in becoming competent and mature individuals, reaching and maintaining satisfaction in a career. Middle adulthood is sometimes considered to be a time-gaining expertise. They seem to automatically know how to handle situations. Late adulthood is the stage of life from the 60s onward. It constitutes the last stage of physical change. Erickson suggests that at this time, it is important to find meaning and satisfaction in life rather than to become bitter.
individual ages into late adulthood, psychological and cognitive changes can sometimes occur. Decline in memory is very common due to the decreases in speed of encoding, storage, and retrieval of information. These are the stages of human development.